The if-then formula is very useful in no matter what spreadsheet tool you're using. Let's say, for example, that you're comparing your sales forecast to your actual sales numbers. And depending on the outcome of that comparison, you want a certain value or a certain text or whatever to be written into a cell. Um, let's say, for example, if your forecasts are higher than your actual sales, you might want to write nay. But if your actual sales are higher than your forecast, you might want to write yay. I admit that's, that's a bit of a, a childish example. I'm Chanel Greco from Saperis, and in this video, I'll show you how you can use the built-in Google Sheet if function. And I promise the example in this video tutorial will be a bit more real life. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because twice a week I publish video tutorials about Google Sheets, Google Apps Script, how to automate Google Apps, and so on and so forth. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on any of those videos. So go ahead and subscribe. Good. So we're in our sales bonus document, Google Sheet document. And what we want to do is you see this column D bonus whenever someone's actual revenue in column C is the same or higher than the forecasted revenue in column B, then we want to see the text. Yes. Meaning that that person is going to get a bonus. So how do we do this? As I said, we're going to use the if function, which is built in in Google sheets. How do I use it? Very easy equals, and I just start typing if, and you see how it suggests the if function for me. And it even tells me how to use it. So the first thing that we want to do is type in our logical expression. And in our case, it's comparing our actual revenue, which is in C2 to the forecasted revenue in column B. And we're checking for greater than or equal. So that would be like, so greater than or equal B2. Oops, B2. There you go. And the second part of this function is the value if true. So in this case on row two, if the actual revenue is greater than or equal to the forecasted revenue in column B, then we want to type out yes into the bonus column. If it, that is not the case. So if the logical ex expression evaluates to false, then we want to type in no. So let's do that. Yes. If it's true and no, if it's not true, enter. Oh, we have an error. Um, the good thing about these errors is that it usually gives you a hint on what is wrong. So we'll just hover over this cell and it tells us unknown range name. Yes. Hmm. What does that mean? What Google sheets is expecting in this function is not the yes and no, the way we wrote it, but yes and no in parentheses. Without it, this function will not work. So now it's working. Is it correct? Well, I would say it is because the actual revenue is $600 higher than the forecasted revenue. So this, you probably know, you just double click on the corner on the top, no, on the bottom right corner of the cell and it copies, uh, it copies the formula down to the other cells. So let's see somebody who's not going to get a bonus. Is that correct? Etienne, his actual revenue was $75,000, but his forecasted revenue was $80,000. So that's correct. And here, Glenda, she's the, 
Mm, she's the greater, she's the then, exactly. She's the then case because her actual revenue and her forecasted revenue are exactly the same. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions concerning the if function in Google Sheet or if this is maybe not making sense to you or if you might even have a better example than I do, and I'm sure you do. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you're up to date whenever I post a new video, video tutorial about Google Sheet, Google Apps Script, Google Meet, 